another one. We have the affiliate code for Quant Tower now. So I'm going to tell you about how amazing the Quant Tower platform is. Um, you can get the free version, which is I would thoroughly, thoroughly recommend. It has been recommended for ages and ages and ages on the starter pack. And, you know, you might see Quant Tower, but maybe never clicked it. Um, you know, this is just a video to tell you about how amazing it is. So you've uh, clicked the link, you've created an account then you would have come to the download you can do either or you can get a free version without registering but if you want to take the next step then you'll need to register so it's up to you in what order you want to do it you can download it first and then register um, or either or um, so you know you click the link the affiliate uh, link you create the an account potentially it's up to you and uh, then you click the get quant tower so you've got the 64-bit version which is you would have if you've got a modern computer if you've got an old laptop an old computer then you'd click that but I think you would probably have 64-bit if you've got a modern day if you've got anything over 4 gig of RAM then you should be getting the 64-bit but I don't know if any of you have old laptops you probably do but if you do have an old laptop you click that one it's pretty straightforward um, so I want to talk about the advanced features and then I'll talk about the volume analysis and I'm going to give it a live demonstration uh, using Bitcoin and um, why you might want to consider you know, getting the um, premium features which doesn't come on the free um, so there you are you know there's your price plans with, with the discounts okay uh, so chart types, uh, trading advantage in the market using the regular and exotic chart types that best fits your trading style, analyze the market with very easy to use features and extensive list of chart types and styles. So uh, Haikonashi, the Renko, um, point and figure, uh, Kagi, bars, um, you've all, they've also got a quant tower, um, candlesticks, which is, I use, as, they're quite nice, that's quite cool. Uh, simultaneous connection so you connect to different brokers exchanges and data providers so if you wanted to connect to um, your crypto that'd be fine you see how you have multiple connections or if you wanted to connect to your FX broker you can as well so you know maybe you're connected to uh, Kraken or you know your preferred crypto provider and you may be connected to Oanda on your FX so you can do that as well so it's got multiple connections according to your requirements. So for me, I just have one connection, uh, but you could have two or more, right? Which is ridiculously amazing. Uh, so you know, you could, that's connected to Anda. That one's Binance, Bitfinex, and HitBTC. <laughs> right. So you can see how amazing this could be. Uh, it tells you about the spreads. You can create synthetic symbols, um, which is, you know, so you could look at uh, unlimited chart overlays, so you can look at correlations. We know that the Euro USD is uncorrelating; it's unwinding from its risk proxy. So we could look at the Euro USD against the S and P or the Nasdaq, and you might see that they're going to start to unwind a little bit, and this would be very useful for this. So you can see. Um, correlations basically the Aussie USD and Aussie Yen track risk but the Euro USD and the Euro Yen are winding away slightly so we have to consider the Euro has been slightly um, uh, less risk proxy it's almost almost acting like a safe haven which is a bit weird to consider so this is why you maybe want to look at the Euro Oz because um, that's your great risk proxy. The Aussie is definitely riskier than the Euro now. And we see how well the performing, uh, the Euro has been performing and the S&P has been falling. So it tells us you know, that it's, it's changing over time. And this would be a very good demonstration. You could see a chart overlay of the Euro USD and how it's winding away from its traditional uh, risk proxy. All right, so we have to be careful and not necessarily to rely on your correlations because they do break down, as you can see. And it looks like the euro is veering away, which is interesting. Uh, you've got your trading simulator, so you can test your um, strategy. You've got inbuilt strategies, 
um, which you can test. I'm currently testing a one on C trader, and that's going very well. Unlimited indicators, which is something that you know the trading view doesn't have at the uh, bog standard level. This gives you unlimited indicators at the bog standard level. This is you know the um, this is like your premium content. It's not the ultra premium. This comes with like the pro package. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So they've got a standard deviation ATR indicator, which is interesting. That looks that looks quite interesting. Um, yeah, so that's cool. Um, you can export data to Excel, and that's another video for another time. It uses the same concept as MetaTrader 4 to Excel, but uses a thing called RTD, so it's, it's more powerful. And so that's that. So that's um, the features. Volume analysis is something that I need to talk about because we should be using this in you know in your technical um, setup. So it gives us a breakdown of buyers and sellers. It can tell you institutional volumes where you know the big pockets have come in, the big fish, and we you know we can see where there's an imbalance and things like that. You know who's winning the tug of war. And it, you know if the the balls win, then we can probably uh, assume that the next one's going to be bullish. The next session is going to be bullish. Okay, um, so it's great. Okay, so the right you're going to have left profile and right profile. The right one could be um, your current week. It could be your current day. It could be the current half an hour. And your left one could be the previous week, the previous day. Um, no, the, the the whole session. Uh, this could be for your last hour. This could be the whole session. So, you know, the whole screen. So, you know, you can have unlimited uh, ways of analyzing the market. So, you could have them both the same if you wanted to, but it wouldn't be much point. You'd have to try and have something different on the right hand side to your left. So, um, currently on mine. I've got the current week but if you wanted to on the left you can do um, the previous month oh the current month yeah let's do that you click enable and that downloads the data so this is current week this is the month All right so that's that so and if you want to take it off you just simply take it off All right very 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 powerful very you know quite unbelievably powerful really so that's awesome way of looking at the market and time time statistics and histogram that's this information down here so we can see an increase well there's actually a decrease then an increase then a big increase and what happened with the price up we go so um, if you're not happy with the background color we can change that as well but I'll talk about that once I talked about the volume profile so that's that. You can add a VWAP, which, you know, if you don't know about the VWAP, do a Google on that. It's very powerful and uh, gives you historical time of sales. Now, this will um, be lightning fast, so it might be quite hard to track, but it tells you the transactions in real time. And if you've got a super duper fast connection, this will just zip by uh, lightning speed. So it's quite useful. It'll tell you the sizes. You can also filter the sizes as well, so you can see the you know the buyers and the sellers who's winning. Um, you know, it's just it's, it's really unbelievable, really. It's very powerful. Uh, that's that. That's that. That's that. So um, pretty awesome what you can get. I told you how to set up and get the data feed. So assume that you're up and running. So let's talk about some of the things that you can do in the TPO. I've shown you the left profile which you know we could do we don't have to do the current month you can just do today and you can don't forget you can overlay them as well so you can have 50 minute you could have them all on the volume profile or just one all right um so let's change the background color maybe because that's some people some people like to change the appearance you know they want to make it look nice don't they so the general settings are here and then you come, come to view. Now the window colors is where you change your color scheme. So um, perhaps maybe we want blue. Oh, what's well, quite white, isn't it? Let's change that a little bit darker. 
So that's quite nice. Um, maybe, maybe that. I mean, you can just choose. Um, you've got hundreds of um, permutations here. <laughs> yeah, it's up to you how you want to make it look. I mean, yeah, we could be doing this all day, couldn't you? <laughs> so we've got a blue gray. See how that looks quite nice, doesn't it? Now, how would we use the TPO profile? This is what I want to talk about. So we see an increase, which is fine. But, you know, that's only good in hindsight, in retrospect. But so and that's just confirmation over time, right? Now, if you look left, we've got a volume node here and here. Uh, I pointed this out on the technical channel. There was a level of interest here at 38.5. Now, that went into the crypto um, technical channel uh, discussion group for crypto. And I was saying how we'd probably get to 40,000 because we used the confluence of, of a strong moving average, which you would have seen. Now, if you look left, you knew that was a resistance level. All right. Now, if we're above the one below, if we're forming a volume node greater than the one below, in, in other words, are we higher? Then we knew with a fairly good degree of confidence that, you know, the buyers were stepping in here. We're, we're greater than here because price is higher. And we, we did eventually break 38.5. Now what you could do using this TPO volume profile, you wait for price to go above the level of interest, and then you enter long with a stop loss at the volume node, the point of control. So you'd enter here, enter there maybe, with a stop loss there. It's a hundred dollar stop loss, and up we go. All right, so then you'd simply look left, use it for uh, entry, and SL, and your TP it'd be something where you'd look left. Oops, gold. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. <laughs> um, and that's that. So you look left at your um, volume nodes, or you know you'd like maybe look to TP because you've made a an R. You know you've risked a hundred dollars, but you've got one thousand five hundred dollars. So you've got a fifteen R trade. So you'd exit by that measure. You know, if you if you're getting over three R, then you know you're doing incredibly well. So that's an example how to use it. We knew this was a level of interest, and we broke above. The volume node was higher than the one below, so that's bullish. You enter stop loss there, and then you let it run. And uh, so that's an example of how you make profits, make money, make good money on the Bitcoin. All right. So um, hopefully you caught that. And so that's a demo of how to use the TPO. Now I'm going to just wrap up the video with a thing called the watch list. And it sounds, uh, you'd be familiar with a um, watch list already, but this gives you something that you've never seen before. Uh, so let's look at your, I don't know, let's look at Aussie. Maybe we're interested in Aussie. It's up to you. All right, what we can do with the watch list, well, first of all, you can, you know, click that. That's quite cool in itself. But you can get indicator stats for your currency pairs, right? This is unbelievably uh, cool. So you add indicator, right click, add indicator. And so, I don't know, let's see the RSI for these pairs. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can add, we just do default, I add 14, that's fine. See how it calculates the RSI. Are we overbought, are we oversold on your currency pair? So we are getting close to being oversold for Aussie Swiss. If we breach 30, then we know that we're oversold, All right? If we go above, I think 70, then we've overbought. So it gives you stats for your pairs that you're interested in at the watch list level. So add indicator. And you can have a look at ATR. Have we exceeded ATR? Uh, 13, that's fine, probably due to 20. Uh, you can change that if you'd like. Um, yeah, so then you add indicator. Uh, perhaps you like your um, momentum indicator. <laughs> it's just uh, it is ridiculous. Omnitrend, uh, that's fine. Um, so it's just downloading the data. This is doing the ATR right now. I don't forget you can filter which is the most overbought. Uh, oh, more than. Oh, wow, that is cool. I didn't know you could do that. 
there isn't anything over 70. Um, less than 30. Is anything oversold? No. Okay. I didn't know you could do that. Oh wow, that is awesome. All right, so you can actually filter your um, your stats, your indicator stats, according to your watch list. Um, you can also add the um, the Tenkinson, the Kijinson, the um, the Ichimoku values to here. You can add your daily pivots, your weekly pivots, your monthly pivots, anything as well. Um, you can also alter the columns visibility. Me maybe you want to take ask off. We can just look at the bid price. Me maybe not interested in the last price, and. Um, you know, it's, it's that in itself is really, really amazing. So there's the filter. So Aussie, Kiwi, um, we have actually oversold a lot. Uh, so that could be right for reversal. All right, so you see I can use it. Um, definitely get a, at least get a free copy. And if you want to get um, your pro license, just use that QuasiDB code. And you know, you've got this. And this will pay for itself in, in a day. Because uh, that move was, uh, you know, a phenomenal move, and you've, you know, you can see how it's been a buy because your volume node is higher than one prior, and we broke above that double confluence. So there's definitely something of interest there. Why the, you know, the buyers stepped in at that level. So you could probably argue this could be like a ruse, you know, like some kind of fake dump in order for it to rally. Um, you know, they're accumulating positions to or not order to get a good price. If they got in at 36k and with 40k, they've made a lot of money on that move. So, knowing that it would come up because we um, we had a greater volume than the one prior. So, um, great example of how to use a TPO profile. We've got an affiliate code, so you can use that. You'd be more than welcome. You don't have to, just use a free account. But do know on the free account, you don't have the TPO. Uh, this right but you know maybe you can live without it but if you think it could be useful for you then you know you can, you've got uh, you've got a code now you can use so um, that's it I guess I'm gonna got some cut data from Krishnan so I'm gonna do a video tomorrow on that and then have a good weekend and uh, let me know what you think and if you get like a cool setup then you know, do share it as well because I'd be quite interested to see what you've got um, don't forget your grid you can take off as well you, know, you can just completely format it to your own requirements. So have a good day and I'll speak to you guys tomorrow for the cut data.